Uh, good morning. It's Dr. Denny, Dr. Denny Glockenspieler, uh, showing you the, the cardboard mock-up before the prototype mock-up of the cuckoo clock, just to show I can build a casing for it that works. It's got a pendulum on it. Let's just cut to the chase. It's going to show you the morning. It's just day, daybreak. It's beautiful out there. It's beautiful out there. Uh, lighting's beautiful. Let's just let's cut to the chase and show this. Let's see the bird come out. Wow, that's pretty cool. One o'clock. It's not one o'clock, but I'm gonna draw a clock there. Uh, let's look at the pendulum now. So the pendulum is. Uh, Let's, I want to get a good view. I want to show you this. Here, let's get that going. I got to get right underneath here. Sorry, people. I got to do this video while the sunlight is so beautiful. It actually was beautiful on take, better on take one with the orange in the sky. But if you can see under there, I don't know if I can see it. But there's a magnet and there's an electric charge from the battery. And the magnet is right in the center of where the pendulum rests. So no matter how much it tries to rest in the center of the pendulum, it keeps swinging away because the charge keeps bouncing the magnet away to the sides. It's pretty cool how, how they made an a artificial cuckoo clock uh, on a digital, an electronic. Let's look at the back components now. Yeah, there's the 2D batteries, there's the pendulum swinging, the magnet making it go. I held it up with these two things here, these cardboard setups, and it hangs open on the bottom. There's an opening. This is the... This is the control for it. Let's turn it off. Let's turn it on. Let's try it again. That's pretty cool. Okay, now what else am I going to show you? Uh, I'll show you the... Let's see, I took the lid off. I didn't show you that. Okay, Danny, do some camera work here. Danny, hang in there with the camera work. You're running into sunlight. You can't do a take three. I'm going to make a separate compartment on the roof for the music box. This is the music box. There's batteries in there. There's the clock, but I, they, they, they were missing some parts, some, uh, some washers, so I can't use this. Not that I wanted to. Uh, but it does everything I want it to. Here's the start button, here's the volume. So let's play the first song. Ah, oh, Dr. Zhivago, my true love, Jasmine. Oh no, no, you know her name, sorry. Chiquita Bandita Finita, Senorita. There's the volume. I like the twang. I actually like the twang. That's beautiful. Let's look at the sun again. Wow, it's beautiful. Okay, let's play the next song. Lily Marlene. Wow, that's a nice cuckoo clock. And then we're just going to put that back on top. And it even has a pivot in the roof. Hey, you see that? I put an angle on it. That's pretty cool, eh? Anyways, I'm gonna make the mock-up out of, I got three kinds of, uh, of uh, corrugated plastic. Uh, blue, green, and the white thick stuff. But it's mostly gonna be white, because it's the thickest and strongest. But I'm going to decorate blue for the clock face and the green for the roof. It's going to look really cool. One more thing is the schematics. 
Uh, that's what the clock's gonna look like. For for these ones, I'm gonna use pine cones. I'm just gonna get a chain, like a dog chain or something, just to mimic the weights on a, on a pendulum clock. And then there's these, they're gonna have pine cone trees, Tannenbaum, pine cones, pine and cones. But that's pretty much what the cuckoo clock is. Okay, stay tuned next week for final construction of the cuckoo clock. And let's hear this thing one more time. It's so awesome. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for part three next week. Bye.